All right, so I decided that I would play around with uh, polarizing microscopy and fold, the fold scope is ideal for this. Um, for this, what you need primarily is a polarizing filter. This is something I bought off the web. It's not very expensive. Um, you can also get such kinds of filters from the 3D glasses, uh, which are basically polarizing filter. The principle is as follows. When light passes through a polarizer, it is, um, it pass, it, it, it um, makes it it only allows one plane of light to pass through and then you have an analyzer here's another piece that is called the analyzer it's just a piece of the same that when in the same angle allows light to pass through but at 90 degrees allows no light to pass through so now the thing is that if you have various substances that uh, can cause by that have birefringence properties they give some very interesting uh, views when put through a uh, polarizing light with an analyzer. So what I've done is for this experiment, I've taken uh, some clear water sand. This is some sand that I got from my colleague. In um, She'd been to Florida and she thought she'd get me some sand. Um, I also have some baking soda that I basically re-dissolved and allowed to recrystallize. I have some sodium chloride to see if something like that would happen to it and also the sand. What I've done in each of these cases is since I wanted to preserve these slides, I put these substances, I allowed the baking soda to form crystals by dissolving uh, baking soda to saturation and then just putting some on the slide. And then I used uh, some clear nail polish and put a slide over them so that you can make a permanent slide very easily by this. So let's see what we get when we um, look at this under the polarizer and how do we set it up. So for my setup what I have is um, the polarizer is the light source and this as you know goes under the fold scope. The analyzer is um, on the fold scope like this. I've just cut a very small piece and put it on the fold scope and the polarizer as you can see is on um, is on the light source. The good cool thing is the way this fold scope since the magnets are um, circular you can rotate this in the back so you can get can get various angles of the polarizer. All right so now let's look at some sand from Clearwater, Florida. So here's a sample of sand, quartz I think mainly from Clearwater, Florida. You can see the nice sand particles. There's no filter uh, setup. There's just the analyzer just over the eyepiece. I didn't want to remove that. But without the polarizer, you know, this just looks like any other view. Now those bubbles that you see are from the nail polish, I think. So now let's um, put slap on the polarizer. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put the light source behind and there you go. You get some really nice um, birefringent patterns and um, they look very pretty under a fold scope. Um, the, as I said, the interesting thing is you can sort of rotate these um, rotate the polarizer because it is stuck to the uh, light source and let's see what happens when we do that. All right so here's one such view with the many particles of sand. I'm going to rotate this mm -hmm. and as the polarizer rotates you can see that the, bio, uh, the different sand particles are variously illuminated. Here, for example, is this, this completely cuts off the background, and this is what you see. Um, very pretty patterns of uh, birefringence. This is a property, if you have an anisotropic substance, uh, this is what uh, seems to happen. Look at all these different um, particles. They all look very different. Now, if I turn this by another angle, say, 
So this here is parallel. Both of them are parallel, but now if I say go perpendicular, then the background is completely cut off, and then you get you get you know the crystals, the, the sand particles, giving various interesting patterns. Here's some rotation. Some of these go away. Some of these sh remain. Some of these are enhanced. Very pretty. beautiful so if I kind of go around the field very beautiful particles very beautiful patterns 